Good morning. Um, well, is it a good morning? Um, I'd like to talk about a topic not directly related with Jewish people, although it is. Um, in the Talmud, there are eight different sexualities. Um, in nature, there are many genders. Um, and nature is created by God, I'd say. And so we have to respect what God has created. Um, I was born a man. I felt like a boy all of my life. There's no one point where at a certain age I chose to be a man. Um, and I think it's important to recognize that all people are this way. So if somebody who looks like a boy was born a girl, they don't start to feel like a girl at a certain age. They always felt that way. And the earlier they're allowed to be themselves and to feel like they don't have to be terrorized for who they are um, and hide that, because that's a terrible burden. It's a horrible burden on a child who has to pretend that they're something that they're not. Now, I have to say, you know, since Republicans got ab abortion overturned, what they're doing is not, it's not policy. What they're doing is um, like picking a fight. They, they don't have anything to coalesce. They don't have any solutions for actual problems in this country. Um, because the actual problems of poverty, um, inequality, climate change, are all the things that they're against. And so they have to find something to band together. And this new huge push to criminalize transgender people, to criminalize anyone who helps a transgender person to take kids away from their parents by codifying it as child abuse, by forcing people who go into the work of social work to help people, instead making them uh, powers of the state that repress people. Um, it, it doesn't end with trans people. When you create a, a the power in the state to go after the freedom of the person to choose, not just not to choose, but to be as they are and to force them to choose to be who they are not, to hide their basic thing. You know, when the state does this to anybody, it opens the door for them to repress everybody. And what's happening with Florida is um, we, we have an authoritarian state in our country. We, we, we have to understand that. It's really sad. Um, but it may become, you know, that Trump was not a very sophisticated man. He was a great marketer, but he did not know how to wield and use power to create the vision that he had for America. DeSantis does. DeSantis is far more capable than he is. And uh, an, a dangerous authoritarian man who goes after trans and academics and anyone who does not agree with him the way it's happening in Florida where books have to be on an approved list where the state dictates what kind of books are available to people, where the state bans certain education, where there's appropriate and inappropriate. This is, this is communism, this is Nazi Germany, this is all that we have ever read about. But because it's happening in our country, we don't seem to recognize it. We don't seem to understand the road that we're on. The ball is rolling. These things have been passed. Parents are being terrorized. Children are being terrorized all across this nation for 
simply being who they are. And it won't end with them. You see that this is the thing that they've realized that they can get the Republican Party behind of choosing the other, of going after the other. And you can see how this party has turned in on itself because if you're not Republican enough, you are the other. You, a never Trumper is no longer a Republican. Um, anyone who talks sense, anyone who doesn't show themselves to be as extreme as possible becomes uh, cast out. And it creates an immense pressure on people to be they, they have, you know, their, their livelihoods are connected to this party, uh, their careers. And so it creates immense pressure for them to go after the other. And we're on a, uh, we're not on just a dangerous road. We're on the highway. We're speeding. We're accelerating towards a full dictatorship. January 6th was just the beginning. The fact that we have not addressed it, the fact that we have a country that's still um, arguing over what it was, means that a big portion of the country wanted that to happen and plans to repeat it in a more sophisticated way. Um, we are the Roman Republic on the path to dictatorship. Um, it began with Caesar who was deposed, but uh, there was a long line of emperors after him. Because once you lose the Republic, the will of the people, it's nearly impossible to get it back. It's very difficult. Um, Especially if you have somebody that replaces it for, um, you know, we, we're lucky with Biden. We're lucky with our system. Um, but the fact that this is going on in states across the country where individuals who had done nothing to anybody. Um, and I understand that the Republican parents are scared. They, you know, it, the thing is that a child can, children do not choose where they're born. Um, becoming, feeling like a boy when you're a girl um, can happen to any family with, and it is a desire of social engineering to keep those kids in the closet quiet so that their parents can feel like their their family is normal quote unquote normal but it won't change it all that will happen is silence their children and um, what will m most likely happen is um, suicide the children that do not get to express who they are often take their lives and I, I guess that might be easier for some of these people Uh, that, you know, it's a quiet way. It's an honorable way where they get to save face in front of the community. Uh, they get to be a victim. Their child died. What a tragedy. Who could have known why? And a lot of times it's a child that felt like they would not be loved if their family knew who they were. And that's really what this is about. Because... As society creates, breaks down the barriers of intermarriage, of freedom to be Jewish, of freedom to be Catholic, of freedom to be um, trans, all of these things open up for a break in that idea, that simple idea. Um, of this is how a perfect dream family should look like. And there's no such thing. Not in nature or anywhere. Um, but this fear 
that I understand in, in these families. I mean, I, it's scary. You know, you have a child and, and, you, and you want that perfect future, that girl going down the aisle and that wedding and that easy life and a, a, a child that, you know, was born not that way is still a human, still a person and will have a full life if they're accepted. Um, but it's that inability to accept them by the community, by the people that's being created that their own kids would benefit from is scary because they think that's what is allowing them, is persuading them to change. Um, and this happened with Jews because, um, you know, Nazis feared that uh, Jewish people, especially Jewish people who did not look Jewish or who did not um, you know, we're not religious because those people in a sense were easy. They could, um, you, you could stash, stash them away. It's, it's, it's the people who, uh, you know, the doctors, the engineers, the, the people who, who look just like you, those were the scary to them. Um, and, and this is, you know, this, this is the path. Because anything that scares them, they now have a precedent. They now have a path. They now have a solution. And it's a state oppression. And this isn't stopping with trans and gay youth and critical race theory. It's not. This is just the beginning because uh, once, they've un once they've tapped the solution, once they've uncapped this method of thinking everyone becomes another and you can't stop with just the gay uh, and queer y you have to rid the society in their minds of anyone who differs of anyone who disagrees with their path uh, this is this is fascism this is communism this is authoritarianism and we have an authoritarian state, Florida. We have set, we have authoritarian state in Texas. And it boggles my mind that people of those states, just like the people of Russia, just sit there and watch it happen to them.